Oh, hello, hello. Good afternoon. The question of today is a little bit different than usual, but I had a chat with Nadine. And as you may know, uh, so I am living in Spain. I'm from Belgium, but I live in Spain. And so Belgium, for example, already put Spain back on code red, meaning no more, no more airplanes going uh, to Spain. People are not supposed to come here on the holidays. It's like a uh, kind of a lockdown again. And we already went through uh, a long lockdown earlier this year from March till July. And uh, it, in the end, the, the country has been open during the summer. But now again, it is already closed for from certain countries are not flying into Spain anymore. And uh, Nadine was just chatting with me and she says, OK, but w for you, Eva, what is the most important three things that you would like to have at all times? And so we had a little discussion uh, about that because our values or what we value as being the most important is not always the same. In my case, I have a rescue center. Okay, I have a nonprofit rescue center at my house, the Whispering Rescue Ranch. I have a few uh, horses that I rescued that are still here a few dogs, a few chickens, and a cat. That's all I have left at the moment. Uh, but what would I need or what would I appreciate more is different than somebody who's living in, in an apartment, maybe, who has no pets at the moment or just a cat or just a dog. Situation is different. Nevertheless, for me, I believe that some basic necessities are the same for everybody. So my little list of my top three is having enough water and uh, always have water in reserve at your house for when the taps would be closed up or in case uh, that there would be a bacteria or whatever in the water line that you would still have water because we can live and all, all dogs too our dogs and we can live for some time without food but we can't live without water so water for me is an is a necessity and in my case i uh, bought a berkey water filter so i can take water from anywhere from a river from a stream from wherever even if it's contaminated put in the berkey filter and get drinkable water out of it I do even, I already use that right now. I don't drink tap water. My animals don't drink tap water. I don't cook with tap water. All the water goes through the Berkey filter first. So that was my number one of the three. Not on the top. It is on the top, of course, but I mean, that's uh, one of the three. The second, that, the second one that I have many pots of is honey. Honey, honey, honey. That's so important to have and uh, to make sure that we keep on having bees so we can have our honey. Why? Because the honey, it has some sugar in it. Uh, you can use it to feed uh, your body. You can use it also as a medicinal way of helping yourself and your pets. Uh, if you have a sore throat, for example, a little bit of honey will do the trick. If you have a cough, a little honey will help you and the same for our animals but on the other side you can also use it to put it on wounds okay it will help heal wounds for example so that is the one thing that I have plenty of at my house I have uh, several pots of honey and it's something that I will always have in the house or in the kitchen wherever you're having it so for food, that would be my, my number one, something that I would always want to have because I can use it in so many different ways. And then number three, well, what tool would I always want to have near me? It's my torch. What? You want to have a torch when there is a lockdown? Uh, isn't there something else that's more important? Not for me, and it should not be for you either. Why? Because I, I can save life, lives with this, or I can stay alive with this, or thanks to this. 
uh, let me give you an example. Okay, so I have a very old dog, uh, well, 14 years old, uh, dog here who had spinal injuries, who had spinal operations, who has been paralyzed, who now has uh, her, her back where they operated is now fused. And, and let me tell you the story about the last four months. In June, I had a feeling that something was wrong. So we did a blood test. Everything was fine. We did a urine test. It was normal. And still I said, there's something wrong in that urine. And they did a special test and they found out that she had proteinuria. Proteinuria means that proteins are leaving with the urine. That means something is going on there that is not working fine. And in her case, it was the nephrons that were dying off. Now, nephrons dying off is the precursor of a severe, of a possible severe kidney uh, situation coming. Although in her blood, the kidneys were just doing fine and certainly very well due to her age, but nephrons dying means something bad can uh, be happening pretty soon. Well, what did I do with Chien? So we were at the vet, uh, you know, advanced spinal therapy is used, uh, is used to be, is to be used uh, post-diagnostically. When something is going on, we also want to use it to prevent something happening. Okay. By building up our immune system, like we're doing now in the challenge. But so uh, she had the nephrons dying and my vet was really uh, preoccupied because he says she's going to have a kidney crisis. This is not good. Eva, you have to watch out. Fine. What did I do? I adapted her diet and I used my torch. A month later, I knew again something was wrong. So I went back to the vet. We did a blood check again, showing that everything was going okay with the kidneys. We did the, the urine, the special urine test again. It also showed that the nephrons were not dying anymore. So she was doing a lot better and that without medication, just by using uh, advanced photonic therapy and adapting the diet, of course. But I knew something was wrong. And again, they did a special test because I told them, what if this is pancreatitis although or pancreatitis? Although she didn't have any signs of it, I, I saw some reflux. I said something is going on there. And yes, I was right again. Do they have any medication for that? No. So I went home and I just said to my vet, so I'm just going to do this with my torch? And he said, yeah. So again, in July, she got the, the, all the sessions with the torch for the pancreatitis or pancreatitis, depending on where you live, we uh, say it differently. And then in August, suddenly she was in pain um, on her back. She had been doing crazy stuff outside. She had been walking far too far uh, without me knowing it. She came to follow me and um, she, the next day her back was hurting. So what, I know what's going on with her back. So I used my torch again and I gave her some sessions for the back and the following days and she was fine again. And now in September last week, suddenly she woke up with her head turned like that. Like if you sleep badly at night and you wake up in the morning, and you say, oh my God, uh, something is hurting in my neck. Well, I knew something was going on with her neck. I used the torch. She became better again. Jack had a cough. He got some, um, some um, uh, honey and he got the red light. Doing specific acupuncture points, so advanced for time therapy. And he was okay again. I have so many problems. I've got fibromyalgia, I've got this, I've got that. I've got so much going on. I fall a lot because I work a lot and then I hurt myself or I cut myself or whatever. I'm using that torch all the time. If the horse would have diarrhea, I can use the torch. If the horse would have an allergy and itchy skin, I can use the torch. If the horses have a cut, I can use the torch to stop the bleeding and to stimulate the healing going faster and faster and faster. If I have a horse that has, uh, that is scared, that has fear or anxiety, I can use the torch. I can use advanced photonic therapy every single day for any physical or mental condition. And I don't have to 
uh, give all, uh, at any of them, any medication. Except if the vet would say, hey, uh, this is a bacterial infection, of course, uh, you would give some antibiotics. But otherwise, I can do so much just with this. So this is always with me. I don't leave the house without my torch. Never, ever. Okay, because it can help me, it can save me, it can help others. I will never, ever leave this behind. So, yeah, for booze or whatever you call it, water is my number one to always have in the house. If it's for food, it's honey that I will always have in the house. And the tool that I want to have with me at all times is the torch. I can even use it as a flashlight at night to see uh, what's going on. Okay? So I can do so much with this. There is no tool more important in my life and in that of any of my animals than this. Taking the pain away within minutes, stopping a bleeding, taking care of digestive issues, of muscular issues, of tendons, of any possible problem that they can have. So this is what you should never forget to keep with you. All of you who have a red light, keep it with you and start using it. For those of you who say, hey, I'm healthy, I don't need it right now. I'm leaving it in the closet until the day comes that I'm sick or I'm hurting. No, you have to have it with you at all times. And having this with the lockdown, it also meant that the vets didn't have to come because there was no problem. Okay, and when there is a problem, I call them. And when there is a problem with the smaller animals, I bring them to the vets, like I've done with Chien. No problem. But other than that, this is also saving me hundreds or even thousands of euros. Because this is also used, as I've said so many times before, as prevention. By torching their standard points, I'm going to be building up their immune system so the animals won't get so sick or so often sick as they would otherwise. And so by them not getting sick and by them having a strong immune system, if something happens with them, they also recuperate a lot easier and a lot quicker. And you know it, if you are having all the pets just like me, you know they are also always suffering from something. Okay, arthritis or arthrosis, uh, they have uh, a, a disc disease, uh, they have an ACL injury, whatever. But all the dogs do have many issues, even all, all the cats, they have issues. And by using my torch, I can also prevent to have high bills in medication. And as you know, many medications have secondary effects, which then... Uh, gives bad uh, effects on their gut system, uh, on their digestive issue, they give stomach problems and so on. I can avoid all that. And avoiding all these problems, that's gold to me. Really. It's, to me, it means gold and to the animals because they don't have all these problems. So, if your country is going back into a lockdown, Make sure to have your torch at all times and start torching yourself and your pets. Do the standard points every two days. It will just take you a few minutes. Oh, hold on. It will just take you a few minutes every two days to torch yourself and to torch your pets. Give them the strength they need and give yourself the strength they need because you don't want to be get uh, sick either. You don't want to have the flu this fall. You don't want to get the C virus. I'm not going to say the word because otherwise the video could be deleted. But take care of yourself and take care of those you love. Okay? That's it for today. I am going to get ready because I have my day two of the challenge pretty soon. Bye for now.